Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. All right, Pisces, this is a pretty darn straightforward little spread right here. So spirit, what is coming towards Pisces? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate for their very best and highest good? Seven of Wands says you're going to be overwhelmed by an opportunity that comes your way this week, okay? The Queen of Wands in reverse talks about a lack of success, uh, perhaps a lack of professional success. The Queen of Wands in reverse also talks about someone who doesn't have self-confidence. They don't know they their worth. They don't have self-confidence, okay? The Ace of Swords in reverse says what you're not going to see clearly about this week or this opportunity, what you're not going to see clearly about this opportunity, nine of pentacles in reverse, that it's a waste of your time. It's either a waste of your time and effort, or it's a waste of your time, your effort, and you're going to find yourself in some kind of financial deficit. Okay. What you don't see clearly is that what's coming towards you this week, the opportunity that's coming towards you is a waste of your time. There's Pisces, okay? The universe uh, is trying to get you to stand in your power. The Queen of Cups has herself pulled together. She's composed. She's the complete opposite of that Queen of Wands in reverse, okay? And this is how you need to approach this situation when it comes to fruition, Pisces, all right? You need to have your emotions under control. The Queen of Cups is the queen of emotional control, okay? She has her emotions under control, and they need you to posture as this queen of cups as the week proceeds. Why? Ten of wands. Because you, in this queen of wands right here, in reverse, right? This is someone who lacks self-worth, lacks self-confidence, or lacks success of some sort in their life. You are carrying a burden that is harmful to your future progression. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse says, as long as you are harboring and carrying this burden and not standing in your power as the Queen of Cups, we cannot participate. It's a hard stop. It's a blockage, okay? And this is also obviously your advice. Stop. Don't engage in what's coming. What's coming? What's this burden? Well, the Page of Wands in reverse. Page of Wands in reverse talks about a lack of effort. And the Magician in reverse talks about manipulation and it also talks about an inability for you to manifest. So the offer that's coming towards you is going to be made by someone who is not going, their words are not going to match their actions, okay? The person that is bringing you an opportunity this week cannot fulfill what it is that you guys are negotiating. The magician in reverse says that this person is going to use some sort of manipulation, possibly this queen of wands in reverse right here. Possibly this person is going to use your lack of confidence or your lack of self-worth against you. Okay, possibly by telling you that you're all that and a bag of chips and not with the page of wands in reverse, right? Not really meaning it. They just want something from you, whether it's love, family, business, money, relationships, no matter what it is, this is an overarching principle of what you need to look out for this week. Wheel in reverse, blockage, stop, 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 stop. Six of Pentacles. Someone's going to offer you to give and receive and share in the prosperity of life somehow, whether that's a paycheck, whether that's a stable home, a happy home, whatever it is, it has to do with your sense of security and your sense of well-being. And that's what's going to be the foundation of this offer. The High Priestess in reverse comes on top of this and says there's secrets you don't see. There's things you're not understanding. And because of your lack of self worth and the lack of self-confidence or the lack of success in the queen of wands in reverse, you're going to have a propensity to ignore your intuition because you really want whatever this person is offering you. 
empress in reverse. Empress in reverse says don't screw up, Pisces. The empress in reverse is someone who is not in control of their mind. They're not in control of their emotions. They're not in control of their insecurities and they're not in control of their flesh. Okay, they're not listening to their intuition and they're letting some kind of internal self-narrative run rampant in their life. And it's not in your best interest. It's not in your best and highest good. It's followed by the Queen of Wands in reverse. Again, reiterating this lack of self-worth that could possibly feed into this person's manipulation and you're going to take a wrong turn in your life, Pisces. Okay, Tower in reverse says avert disaster. Three of Pentacles in reverse. You cannot build, collaborate, or create in life what you want to create with this person. The star. Your path and your purpose will be revealed to you if you will pull yourself together in your power of the Queen of Cups. Okay, pull yourself together and sit down with whatever it is you call it, Pisces, and do some deep soul searching and introspection. Ask and you will be shown, okay? Do some deep soul searching and introspection. Find this Pisces right here in the Queen of Cups. And, and also find this Pisces right here in the Queen of Wands in reverse, right? Ask yourself, why do you have this low sense of value enough to participate in whatever this offer or opportunity is, okay? The Prince of Cups, that's the offer. Okay, it could be anything for anyone, could be huge, could be small, could be anything for anyone, all right, but it's not in your best and highest good. Just let me give you an example of how simple this could be. You go to lunch with a friend and the friend says, let me pay because I know you're not in a place of success right now. Let me pay, right? I know you're broke or I know you're going through something. Let me pay. And then that friend uses that weakness against you to manipulate you into something else in the future. Okay, that's, that's the simplistic explanation. Or this could be some huge, gigantic relationship that won't go away. And this person keeps coming round and round and round. And you keep going round and round and round. And here it comes again. And this reading is saying, hey, wake up wake up. You're repeating the same cycle over and over and over again. No matter who you are, you're repeating the same cycle over and over and over again because you have not dug up and spit out this lack of self-confidence or this lack of self-worth. Okay. And you're totally running on your flesh. Okay. You're not in touch with your soul, with your path, with your purpose. Avert disaster. Stop. This isn't going to be right. Okay. Prince of, Prince of Cups to the Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay. Ace of Cups in reverse talks about um, repressed emotions. So you have something, something that's attached to this. Okay. Five of Pentacles. Um, this is a no win losing situation for you, Pisces, to the Seven of Wands and defend yourself from it. The Eight of Swords in reverse, you must, 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 must get a new perspective. What's the new perspective? The Emperor in reverse. This person only has their best interest at heart, whether it's work, money, career, family, love, relationships, whatever it is for you, the person who is making you this offer has only their best interest at heart. Okay, now I want to point out we have the emperor in reverse and the empress in reverse. This is the unhealed and uh, dancing with the unhealed. It is the blind leading the blind. All right, the two of you, whatever this is, are out of control of yourselves and you're about to have a crash. And the tower in reverse says avert disaster, right? Don't let this queen of wands in reverse be your guiding point. Let the Queen of Cups be your guide, okay? Posture as the Queen of Cups and stop being the Queen of Wands in reverse because the Queen of Wands in reverse is why this whole toxic thing is going on right here, okay? 
Okay, the connection between the two of these is the Nine of Cups, all right? Th this person has what you want and you have what this person wants, no matter what the circumstances are. You have what they want, they have what you want. However, you will engage with this out of some kind of, again, lack of self-worth. They are engaging with this out of egocentric, self-centered motivations. Okay, so they're going to feed on you and you're going to feed on them. Uh, maybe again and again and again, if this is some kind of cycle in your life. All right. The king of wands, this person is going to offer you success of some sort. The fool in reverse says you would be foolish. Seven of swords. If you don't recognize the fuckery that is going on right here. Temper yourself with the temperance card. Temper yourself in this situation. The hangman. And just kick back and watch things unfold now that you have some inside information. And if you want your cards right about this, hit me up at thepathofpurpose.org and we can dig into all of the juicy details about this. The three of wands in reverse. Lack of foresight. You don't see this coming, okay? You're not looking past your lack of success, lack of confidence, lack of self-worth, okay? The moon in reverse says, see very, very clearly the deception that's going on here, two of wands in reverse, because you can't build your future on this, okay? You cannot build your future on this, whatever this is, for whoever this is for, you cannot build your future on this offer. Princess of swords in reverse, it's all talk, no action, undelivered promises. The ace of wands, it's, it's, it, is, it is something that you want, it's something that you want to engage in, but you need to see the forest through the trees, Pisces. The world in reverse, it's a cyclical pattern for you. And for you and this person, for you and this type of situation, or for you in every aspect of your life, okay? You're stuck on repeat. To the fool in reverse, again, and it's foolishness. It's off, it's off point. It's not your path, it's not your purpose. It's totally flesh driven with the Queen of Wands and the Empress in reverse, right? Totally flesh driven. You are going to have an opportunity to either choose your flesh and bone understanding of life or your soul's understanding of life. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. It's going gonna, it's gonna to kick you in the teeth, Pisces. It is. It's just going to kick you in the teeth. Six of Cups in reverse. Unresolved issues from the past. Maybe your own past. Maybe your own childhood is why you're the Queen of Wands in reverse twice and the Empress in reverse. Perhaps this situation is from your past and you're having an opportunity to address it again. But nothing has changed. It's all still the same. Either way, either it's all still the same, the person from the past is still the same, the situation is the same, and you are still the same. So, so this is a roadmap to actually apply some growth to your life. Justice, be accountable. Be accountable for your path and your purpose. It's in your best interest to pay attention to what's being said here. What's being said, the Three of Pentacles, the opportunity that is being offered to you. Three of Cups, the opportunity that is being offered to you. The people, the places, the person that you're going to meet. The Hierophant, contracts, obligations, commitments with one another in some way. Six of Swords, leave that bullshit behind. Leave it behind, leave it behind, leave it behind. It has no purpose for your growth and your future. As a matter of fact, if you keep doing this, you're never going to be able to see your growth and your future. Honestly, you won't because you will do this over and over and over again till the day that you die. And then you will get on the other side of everything and look back and be, oh my God, I lived the whole damn thing in a box. I didn't even see you have the power, Pisces, in that Queen of Cups right there to flip 
all of these cards in the upright. You have the power to listen to your soul's intuition and align yourself with universal order. You have the power to create any kind of life that you want to create for yourself. Why would you create something that isn't in your best and highest good? You have the power to put in the effort and do something about it. You have the power to follow your guts, to listen to what source is telling you. You have the power to align your mind, to change your internal narrative and line, align your mind with what is in your best and highest good. Yes, 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 you do. You have the power to avert disaster. You have the power to be successful. You do. You have the power to follow your path and your purpose, even if you don't understand it and do it anyway. You have the power to flip all of this in the upright, but you have to be accountable for why you have a lack of success, a lack of confidence, or a lack of self-worth why you are allowing your flesh understanding of life to dictate over your soul's understanding of life. Stand in your power as the Queen of Cups. Control your emotions. Handle this situation from a soul perspective and kick ass, Pisces. Have a good week. Who do you think you are and why? Despite what you have been told and despite what you may believe about yourself, you are important, your existence has meaning, and your life has purpose. Let me show you how to find the ancient soul buried beneath your expectations and society's labels. Let's explore your true self, who you are at your core, to live a peaceful and meaningful life. We will dissect the concepts of spiritual growth and prepare you for the path ahead, your true purpose. With self-paced, step-by-step guidance to unbox your mind and free your soul. Walk with me through the journey of spiritual awakening with thought-provoking insight that will challenge everything you think you know about the who, what, where, when, and why of this crazy thing called life. Life doesn't have to be a struggle. There is a better way, and your truth will set you free.